Well, let me welcome all of you to Charlotte's house. <laughs> and let me just share a little bit of information with you to show that our government it really has our best interests in mind vis-a-vis -vis contacts with Russian people, which is what we in the Albany Tula Alliance do best. We were pleasantly surprised six weeks ago to receive an announcement of a grant opportunity offered by the U.S. Department of State called the U.S.-Russia Peer-to-Peer Dialogue Program, offering, at least in, in federal terms, $100,000 is a small grant. Albany to the Alliance terms, that's a lot of money. <laughs> but we've applied, and I'd like to personally thank all of the members of our board and others who work so hard on getting the grant application in, and Congressman Tonko, the, months, the funds have to be committed by the 30th of September, as you well know, so we're hopeful. You could put in a good word, it would be most welcome. <laughs> and what we, would, what we would do with this grant, if we were to win it, is exchange young people, college students, train our friends in Russia. I don't say train, but so they don't commit the same mistakes we've committed. They can commit their own, but they'll come here. And we're going to be working with Union Graduate College. Mel Chudzik, the founding dean of the Graduate School of Business, is here. Dan Robeson, our vice chair from the Sage Colleges School of Management, is here. Uh, we don't have SUNY Kobolsko represented tonight. We're going to be working with them. Ed Fitzgerald from U Albany School of Public Health is here. Oh, so, yeah, Cliff DeVis is SUNY Kobolsko. We're all represented. May I just ask the members of our board to raise their hands and be acknowledged? Now the times to trust to your wonder lust in the cities. Just you wait, just you wait, must you wait? Miss Sutter. 
Christ.